Hi, uh, welcome back to Dumbrate. Today we're going to be demonstrating the reaction between uh, copper nitrate and calcium hydroxide. So, I'm going to be using the uh, copper nitrate I made in the uh, reaction a few days ago, and I'm going to be using some calcium hydroxide that I've just had left over. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool reaction. I hope you like it. Basically, this reaction is a double replacement reaction where the copper nitrate exchanges its nitrate group with the calcium hydroxide. Um, so you end up forming uh, calcium nitrate, uh, which is known as Norwegian saltpeter, and you also form uh, copper um, oh, copper hydroxide. That's the name of it. I always forget it. Uh, copper hydroxide is that blue crystal stuff. I formed it in another video. Um, but the really cool stuff is calcium nitrate because it's similar to potassium nitrate in that it can be used uh, in gunpowders or in explosives because that nitrate group, uh, of course, has the nitrogen that can um, form triple bonds in the air explosively. So um, I'm not going to do that, of course, because I'm a safe person, um, but also because uh, the impurities I'm going to be doing here are going to be um, quite a lot. There's going to be a lot of impurities. So if you do this at home, um, if you want to actually make really pure Norwegian saltpeter, then using uh, much purer uh, chemicals is a good idea. I produced all my copper nitrate here, so it's going to be very, very impure. It's going to have hydroxides in it that shouldn't be there. It's going to have oxides, and it's going to have all kinds of nasty things like sulfates. So I, it's not going to be pure, but it's going to demonstrate the precipitation that is, you know, demonstrative of this reaction. So that's what I'm here to show you. Okay, so step one, I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, calcium hydroxide, put it in a little vessel, and then uh, dissolve it in some water uh, solids to react with each other. You just don't get that, that visual appeal that's really nice, so I'll put just a little bit of calcium hydroxide in there. don't want a lot because this stuff is not very soluble at all. So having any more than like a gram or two within, yeah, see even in this small cup, it's it's not very, it doesn't dissolve very much. It's nearly insoluble in everything, I think. Um, which is kind of, a, kind of a shame, because it does some cool reactions. And if it weren't so milky, then you could really, really cool some, or see some cool stuff. Um, but it ain't, eh, such as chemistry. Copper nitrate right there. Now, you'll notice this stuff is slightly blue. It isn't really supposed to be, um, but that's, again, because I made this at home, so there's sulfate in it. There's copper sulfate, copper hydroxide, not really good stuff. Yeah, ooh, green. <laughs> Very similar to the copper peroxide I made a few days ago. There we go, get in there. Yeah, that's almost yellow looking. And that, my friends, is Norwegian saltpeter. But that demonstrates the reaction, uh, at least in principle. Uh, a precipitant should form, and if you do it more uh, with more pure chemicals, then the precipitant should be more white. Um, because I'm using impure materials, uh, it comes out as a sort of green. Although different than the peroxide in that it's not olive, it's, it's more of a, a light tannish green. Although I suppose that's more true to actual olive color. Uh, and a p more purified version would be useful in gunpowders, or more useful actually as a fertilizer than anything else. Um, perhaps I'll do another video where I make it in a more pure environment, but there it is for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate taking time out of your day to look at some cool chemistry reactions. Um, in the future, I want to redo that reaction because it's, it was very impure. It was a lot more green than I expected it to be. Um, Still though, that is Norwegian saltpeter, otherwise known as calcium nitrate, and this is a dumb braid. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.